Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Clean Slate Kate. I'm back today to do a little get ready with me. It's just gonna be super casual. Um, I wanted to do a summer eye look for you guys using the Beauty Counter Warm Palette. And I thought this is like one of my favorite blouses for the summer. I just love like the warm kind of terracotta tones. And so I thought I would wear this and then do a matching eye look with the warm palette. So um, yeah, if that sounds like something you would like to watch, then keep on watching and we're gonna get into it. I am going to do my complexion and I'm probably gonna just speed through that part a little bit and then get a little more chatty when I do my eyes. Um, I did do a summer, uh, like my summer must have makeup kind of video a little while ago so I can tag that in the little eye up here. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. I have some coffee. My kids are downstairs watching TV, so if you hear any noise, that's what it is. I like to keep the door open though when I'm up here and they're down there, just so I can listen to all the goings on. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna clip my hair back. We're gonna start with that. Start. So I have a new product that I got actually and I'm gonna do a, like a full review on this and I also want to do a comparison with the Kosas concealer. So this is the Fit Glow Conceal Plus and honestly it's so beautiful and I'm a little bit obsessed with it. So we are going to start with that. I forgot to wet my beauty blender, my fake beauty blender. Okay, give me a sec, I'm gonna go do that. Okay, I'm back. I have my sponge here, it's nice and damp. Okay. This concealer is really full coverage, but it looks so unbelievably natural on the skin. Um, I'm kind of blown away. There, this can compete with like the best of the best and even in the conventional concealers, like that's how much I love this right now. But I don't wanna say too much because I want that to be a separate video where I really go into a little bit more depth. Okay, and I'm going in with Dew Skin. I've switched totally to number three now because I have uh, a decent amount of color in my skin. So this is what I've really been using mostly every day in the summer. So I just do one pump. I always apply this with my fingertips. It looks kind of dark initially going on, but once I get it blended out, it just looks so nice. Gives my skin a little bit of color, but without like being obviously dark. I like a really lightweight complexion. And then I go in with full coverage concealer. Hello, Willow. down here. You can't see her. But... Oh, oh, you're coming up to say hello. Okay. Yes. Hi. She's probably like, who are you talking to? Hello. What? What are you doing? Oh, hello. No, we're not going to hold hands right now. No, we're not. I'm gonna go wash my hands. I'm just gonna quickly put on some of my Kosas Sport Lip Hyaluronic Lip 
balm. I love this product. My lips have been a little dry lately. I think it's because I've been out in the sun a lot with the kids. Okay, and I am going in with, oh my gosh, this lid is dirty. My RMS um, Tinted Unpowder. Now, this one has a little bit more, uh, like of an absorbing quality for oil. And I quite like it if I'm only wearing a tinted moisturizer. All right, and then what I do is I go in with my concealer in the areas where I want more coverage, but I find setting the dew skin kind of gives a little bit of grip to my concealer. So I'm just going to pop some right here where I have redness. I have a little bit of rosacea there. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with Dune. It's my favorite bronzer. You can see that it's well loved. From Beauty Counter, sorry, I should say that. And I've been going like ham with the bronzer lately. Because I have a decent amount of tan and like color on my body, my face is a little lighter because like I always have, I always wear dew skin which has sun protection so I don't get as much color in my face. And this bronzer is like good even in the winter when I'm, I'm fair so I can really load it up in the summer. Whereas in the winter I'm like very light handed with it. And now I'm gonna go in with Halo, which is the highlighter from Beauty Counter and my little highlight brush. Because I have a decent amount of texture on my cheeks, I like to go over my highlight with my damp sponge. I'm gonna go check on my kids quickly. There's a lot of banging going on down there, so I'm just gonna <laughs> go deal with that. Everything is okay. They were just playing with the table chairs, which sounded worse than what was happening. I'm gonna go in with Guava. This is my favorite blush color. I say for summer, but I actually just love it year round. so fresh and pretty. I would really like a cool toned blush. Even when I'm going warmer on the eyes. So now we're gonna get into the eye look. I should have showed you guys the palette that I'm gonna use. So this is the warm palette from Beauty Counter and I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a look with this. I'm gonna pull the little mirror out so I can use it, but also so I'm not blinding everybody. First, I'm gonna do my brows. And I usually do them off camera, but once in a while I like to do them on camera. I'll probably speed through it because it's a little bit more of a lengthy process, but um, I do use the Color Define Brow Pencil from Beauty Counter in the shade Dark. And it is a pencil that you have to sharpen. 
and it's got like a little spoolie on the end, but I actually like the pencils I have to sharpen. I just feel like I get so much more product in them than the twist up style. done I'm just gonna set them and I used the beauty counter uh, tinted brow gel in the shade dark as well I love that this after it kind of fluffs them back up and gives them like a nice natural texture okay now I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Counter Touch Up Concealer Pen and I'm gonna prime my eyelids with this. It's a nice lightweight concealer. If you don't have a ton to cover on your complexion, um, it's a really nice like medium, light to medium coverage concealer but I do really like it to prep my lids. I have the Elia Brightening Eyelid Primer and I use that one sometimes, but I do find that this actually keeps my shadow from creasing longer. I have oily skin, so my shadow creases no matter what, unless I use the Urban Decay Eyelid Primer Potion or I mean there's some other like non clean beauty options out there for eyelid primers that do work for me. On a day to day basis I try and stay in the clean realm so I will use um, the touch up concealer pen. But if I am going out and I need my eyeshadow to stay put, I will use the Urban Decay. It rates a three, I think, on the EWG app. So it's not too, like it's not too bad. So I'll use that one once in a while. But yeah, for now I just, I like to just use the Touch Up Concealer Pen for like my everyday looks. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is move this mirror. I have a mirror here over a little bit. So I have a few favorite eyeshadow brushes. I use the Sephora Pro Brush Collection. Now they've updated this collection. It looks a little different, but as far as I know, most of the brushes are still available. Um, my writing has worn off mainly. I think this is 15, 27, and 10. So those are my favorite uh, eyeshadow brushes. I can pretty much do any look with these three. Now. This is my color switch and I've talked about this before but I always use it for my eyeshadow brushes just to kind of clean off any remaining color from another palette or a different eye look that I've done. You can use it for like blush, whatever, but these are amazing. I do wash my brushes in between, but that's just, uh, well, like every few weeks, I don't mean in between every eye look, but that just gets the remaining color off in between looks. So I highly recommend those. So I'm gonna go in first with my uh, blending brush and I'm gonna go into Suede. This sets down a nice crease shade. It gives that, it's like the perfect mid-tone color for your transition. Okay, 
so next I'm gonna go in with Sienna. It's this really nice burnt orange. I'm gonna go in with the same brush actually. I need to go check on the kids again. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come right back. Okay, so going in with Sienna here. I'm gonna take my touch up concealer pen and just go under the brow slightly. I'm just gonna use this little flat tapered concealer brush just to kind of soften and blend that out. Do you guys ever like you're doing something in the mirror and then you forget that you have like a really long handle brush and you like tap the mirror? It happens to me all the time. I'm gonna take my little um like precision shadow brush and I'm gonna dip this into this shade down here called Sable. And I'm just gonna build up a little bit of depth on the outer corner. Going over in my color switch now just to get the deeper color off of that little brush. I'm gonna dip into Sahara. And I'm gonna put this right on the lid. And now, um, just right in the center of the lid and the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with ivory. It's this really pretty, yeah, it's just like a pearlescent kind of shade with a warm undertone and it's so pretty, I love it. It really just catches the light. I like to use my baby finger just to do my inner corners. Sometimes I find if I use a brush, the powder like fluffs into my eye and it just irritates my eye. So pressing it in with my finger is just a better way to go for me. And right at the end, I'm gonna dip back into suede and I'm just going to put this back into my crease just to kind of soften and blend everything that I've done together. I also don't like anything shimmery in my crease, so sometimes um, if I go a little bit too high with my metallic shades, this kind of tones it back down. I am 
going to pop on some mascara and then I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. I put on my mascara and a lipstick in the, this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea collection, their lipsticks. They are kind of a clean, they're a clean brand within the Tarte brand. Um, they carry them at Sephora. So if you guys have not checked out these lipsticks, what are you waiting for? They are amazing. Like before I even switched over to clean, I these were my favorite formula. They're matte, but they feel creamy and they but they stay on really, really well. Um, this is the shade Siesta. It's a really nice nude warm tone, which is why I thought it would look nice with this look today. But my other favorite shade is called Salt Life and it's like a mauve a cool mauve purpley kind of undertone nude, um, which is so pretty as well. So I could not recommend those enough. Um, but yeah, this is basically the finished look. Um, I wanted to do this look for you guys for a while with the warm palette because I do love it so much. Uh, but yeah, if you have any requests or anything you'd like for me to review, I would love to do that. So leave it in the comments below. Um, and yeah, if you have not already subscribed, please do so. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.